We all like to imagine the crazy and wonderful things that will happen in the future. Some things, like colonizing other planets or inventing time travel, seem like they belong in a sci-fi movie. But today we're going to share some amazing things that are already in the works, meaning it's entirely possible we'll see them within our lifetime. One day it may be possible to subscribe to The Hub just by thinking about it. Until that happens, however, you can just use your finger to hit the subscribe button now. Listen to music. Music streaming services like Pandora and Spotify are great because they allow us to customize our own playlists and they suggest songs that we might enjoy. They do so by noting which songs we play the most and which songs we report enjoying. But imagine having a service that could play music based on your brain waves. It might be coming sooner than you think. Musician Eduardo Miranda uses an electroencephalogram machine to measure people's brain waves and track how they respond to different music. Through this, he's able to see which musical beats produce which types of brain waves. He's confident that within a few years, companies will be creating music designed specifically to elicit responses in your brain. We've all felt how listening to a sad song can make us feel down, or how a cheery upbeat song can make us smile. This would be like that, but magnified significantly. The EEG machine Miranda uses in his research are bulky and expensive, so it's likely we will develop slimmer, more portable devices to monitor our brainwaves in the future. It's not unusual to feel like a songwriter totally understands our feelings when we hear their music, but with this technology, they literally will know exactly how we feel. Clean the air. Climate change is a serious issue, and we are always trying to think of new ways to combat it. One major source is greenhouse gas. While biking instead of driving is a good way to cut down on your air pollution, in the future, we'll have an even more effective way. Fernando Uribe Robo, a chemistry professor from the University of Central Florida, has found a way to turn greenhouse gases into clean air while producing energy at the same time. He and his team use a synthetic material called metal organic frameworks that breaks down carbon dioxide into harmless materials. It's not unlike how plants use photosynthesis to convert carbon dioxide and sunlight into food, but in this case, it's producing solar fuel. It took a long time to find a way to trigger the transformation using visible light, but they found that a mixture of titanium and added organic molecules did the trick. This technology will become much more streamlined in the future, allowing it to be used on a huge scale. When this happens, this could be placed next to a large source of carbon dioxide, like a power plant, and the gas would be sucked into the device, which would then be processed and recycled while producing energy that could be funneled back into the power plant. Supersonic travel. In today's busy world, time is at a premium. Being able to fly across the country is great, but it's easy to spend an entire day just getting to your destination. With innovations in air travel, soon we'll be able to travel at supersonic speeds. The company heading this innovation is called Boom, awesomely enough. While supersonic flight isn't new, actually implementing it is a while off. The problem is, it's currently so expensive that it's not feasible, but the technology making it efficient, economical, and safe is rapidly being created. Supersonic planes will fly higher than other aircrafts, at about 60,000 feet. Since you'll be flying over turbulence, you can expect a much smoother ride. As for breaking the sound barrier, it's actually quite uneventful. Currently, it's illegal to fly at supersonic speeds over the US, so Boom is limited to flying over international waters. But they hope that soon, those laws will be replaced with common sense ones, limiting the amount of sound the planes can make. The end result will be planes that can travel 2.6 times faster than the current planes. This means it'll be possible to fly from New York to London in just over three hours, instead of the usual seven hours. Lab-grown seafood. Meat substitutes are nothing new, and in fact, there's a huge variety. Many of them are made up of soy or legumes. They tend to be pretty limited in terms of flavor, texture, and nutrients. These issues cause most omnivores to reach for the real thing instead. However, even now there are a lot of problems with obtaining quality shrimp. It can be filled with dangerous bacteria such as salmonella or E. coli. They're caught in polluted waters, so they're contaminated before they even make it to the shelf of our local supermarket. Not to mention the further pollution caused by the shrimping boats. A biotech company called New Wave Foods is trying to solve this issue by simply growing shrimp in a lab. They're using a formula based on the same algae that shrimp eat. They've actually managed to replicate the flavor of shrimp and are now working on the texture. They have a ways to go, but eventually hope to branch out and make other forms of lab-grown seafood as well including shark fins, which are considered a delicacy. It's safe to say that in the future, lab-grown seafood is going to be a popular food option. Rise of Robot Workers When we hear about new ways that technology can make our lives easier, we are all for it. Self-driving cars so we can catch some extra sleep while driving to work? 
sign us up. However, increasingly automating tasks will lead to the job market changing substantially. The jobs we'll have and how we'll perform them will look entirely different in the future. According to a 2013 study by Oxford University, they estimated that almost half of all jobs are at risk of being overtaken by robots within the next two decades. While most of us agree that this seems likely, 80% of us don't believe it'll happen to us and that our jobs are secure. This will change the way that we search for jobs in the future as so many jobs will no longer require humans at all. Many hands-on jobs will be the first to be primarily automated, so less people will be involved in welding or assembly. However, there will still be opportunities for people in fields less susceptible to automation. Jobs like lawyer, engineer, or doctor will undoubtedly come to include aspects of automation, but it's likely that they won't be taken over entirely. Self-driving buses. While self-driving cars may be in the pipeline, automating public transit could be a better short-term goal. If public transportation is improved and streamlined, this could potentially take more cars off the road and reduce air and noise pollution and promote safety. Adding technology to public transport is the key to making it more efficient. When London's Transit Authority instituted contactless card payments, they saw huge improvements in efficiency. Instead of purchasing tickets, you can simply swipe your debit or credit card right at the entrance. The technology behind self-driving buses is the same as behind self-driving cars. They utilize built-in sensors and autonomy technology in order to avoid obstacles and arrive at their destination safely. In the future, it's likely that in addition to a passing lane and a bike lane, we'll also have a self-driving bus lane to avoid interactions with cars being driven manually. The driving patterns in these vehicles would be extremely predictable making them much safer than current public transportation. Many places are currently working on automating public transport, and it's only a matter of time before it catches on everywhere. Printable organs. We know that all kinds of amazing things can be created using 3D printers, and scientists have been able to create certain kinds of living cells with them for quite some time. However, being able to print bones, cartilage, and organs is just out of reach, especially on a mass scale. But as technology progresses, in the future we'll be able to just print out what our bodies need in case of injury or illness. One company pioneering this research is Organovo Holdings Inc., which has successfully transplanted human liver tissue into mice in order to cure them of liver failure. As early as 2020, they're going to be expanding their clinical trials to include human research. They're developing printable bone tissue to be used with skeletal disease research, and they're working with other companies to create 3D printed skin. Aspect Biosystems LTD is working to print tissue cells that can be used inside of our bodies. Their next goal is to develop an artificial meniscus that could replace the need for invasive and expensive knee surgeries. In the next few years, we expect to see human trials begin. And in the future, we'll be able to just print out new body parts as ours fail. Brain Interfaces Humans are always looking for easier ways to do things. Remember the dark days when we were forced to use the T9 features on our phones instead of using a keyboard? And now navigating our electronic devices is easier and more efficient than ever. But several companies, including Facebook and Elon Musk, are working on technology that will allow us to control things with our brains. Imagine being able to think of the perfect text message to send a friend and having your phone get the words straight from your mind to the screen. You could move annoying pop-up ads out of your way just by thinking about it. Of course, integrating your mind with technology will have much more impressive implications than not having to move your hands to send a poop emoji. The technology could measure your brain's emotional state when you do certain things, such as look through a friend's vacation photos. It could help you pinpoint what exactly is causing you stress and possibly automate those things for you to save you the trouble. Sometimes we feel like our phones just don't understand us at all as they correct a word to duck for the fifth time. But soon, they may know us better than we know ourselves. Health Predictions while our doctors can assess our risk factors for various health conditions, they're often limited in the amount of data they're able to acquire and analyze. This is to be expected, but it still leaves us at risk of unexpected health complications such as heart disease. Heart disease is the leading cause of fatalities in the United States, but it may not be for long once we start utilizing artificial intelligence to test for it. The University of Nottingham in England recently tested a computer program designed to predict heart problems. The program was 7.6 more accurate than human doctors. It used an algorithm based based on data collected from 300,000 patients to calculate risk factors. Not only that, but it could calculate who was not at risk, thereby reducing their need to take unnecessary heart medications. In the future, we hope that doctors will embrace this technology. It would allow them to identify and treat at-risk patients with a level of accuracy long thought impossible. While there are many things doctors and nurses can do that artificial intelligence cannot, by working with technology, doctors will be able to do their jobs much more efficiently. Drink your dinner. 
In the classic sci-fi film Soylent Green, the government tackles the need for food in an overpopulated world in a way that is stomach-turning to say the least. Although it turns out, spoiler alert, Soylent Green is people, Soylent Powder is just soy-based protein. As our lives become busier, it gets harder to buy, prepare, and plan healthy, delicious meals. Soylent contains canola oil, which provides the lipids necessary for your body to adequately absorb nutrients. It also contains all of the vitamins and minerals you need to get you through the day. Getting all of your daily required nutrients just by drinking a shake three times a day sounds too good to be true. And for now it is. The primary complaint about Soylent and similar products is that they completely neglect the social aspect of eating. Going out to dinner with your partner or grabbing a lunch with coworkers is a way that we relate and stay connected to one another. Relying on a liquid diet removes that important element of socialization. However, in the future, as we're able to automate so many things and stay connected so much easier, it's not unbelievable that food would be an area in which we could improve efficiency. Plus, if you're drinking your meal through a tube, you'll have your hands free to check your Facebook, fiddle with the radio, or make a rude hand gesture at the guy who just cut you off while you were driving your self-driving car. What technological advancement would you like to see in your lifetime? Tell us about it in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe to The Hub for more awesome videos. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see more of you in the future. Bye for now.